Senator uh, Kennedy from Louisiana is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, um, the, the Biden administration has operated as Iran's best friend, hasn't it? No, I disagree completely, Senator. Well, um, Iran sold Iraq ten billion, not million, ten billion dollars worth of electricity, but Iraq couldn't pay them because of our sanctions against against Iran. The Biden administration waived those sanctions, didn't it? So did that so that so that Iran could get ten billion dollars. Isn't that a fact? No, Senator, those, those waivers started under the Trump administration. That money is still in Iraq. That money has never been to Tehran. It will never go to Tehran. The first waiver was on July 2023, wasn't it? Senator, I believe those waivers started in 2018. The, the, the first waiver that the Biden administration did was July of 2023, wasn't it? So, Senator, again, I believe the waiver program started in. You didn't. You didn't do. A, you didn't issue a waiver on July of 2023. Senator, the waivers were continued into 2020. And you issued another waiver to uh, get the money to Iran in November of 2023, didn't you? Senator, as I said, that money has never been, will never go to Iran. The money is still in Iraq. The money may be used for humanitarian purposes, but not a dollar of that. And money you st- and you issued another waiver. On March of 2024, not too long ago, that was six weeks after Iran killed three American soldiers. Senator, you gave Iraq permission to give Iran $10 billion, didn't you? No, Senator. As I mentioned, this was something that started in 2018 under the Trump administration. It allowed Iraq to purchase electricity and to store that money in in Iraq, none of that money to date will ever go to Iran. The money is being held for humanitarian purposes. You're not telling the truth, Mr. Secretary. No disrespect, but that's just not true. Senator Menendez and Senator Scott made the point. We all know, uh, unless you peaked in high school, you know that money is fungible. Um, you also, the Biden administration also um, paid Iran $6 billion to release five of our our prisoners, didn't it? Senator, again, that money is in Qatar. None of that money has been used. It hasn't been moved. And as I said earlier, while money is fungible in the United States because we care about our people, it's not fungible for the Iranian... So the money's in Qatar? In a bank in Qatar? Yes. Now, what what do you think... Who controls that bank in in Qatar? Those banks are connect, are controlled by those individuals who run that financial institution. I see. So, so if if uh, uh, President Biden says Cutter Bank, don't give this money to Iran, and the Cutter government says give the money to Iran, who do you think the Cutter Bank's going to listen to, Mr. Secretary? So, Senator, those banks in Cutter value greatly their ability to have a relationship right. with the United States because right. that's how they make money. Do you believe Ultimately, in the tooth fairy? Ultimately, if we cut off those banks, they will no longer be able to make money. Do you believe in the Easter Bunny? So, Senator, while I understand your point, fundamentally, none of that money has gone to Iran, and that money is not going to go directly to Iran. Now, you did the same thing with Maduro, you meaning the Biden administration. You guys did the same thing with Maduro in Venezuela. You removed all the sanctions on oil and mining, including gold, with Maduro, the dictator of Venezuela, didn't you? So GL 44 and 43 were put in place in Venezuela. 43 has already- Is that a yes? GL 43 has been removed. So you you said, okay, Maduro, we're gonna remove, remove Maduro, best friends with Iran and Cuba and China and Russia. You, the Biden administration removed the sanctions on oil and, and mining in Venezuela. Senator. And, and the, the uh, Maduro said, I promise you that I'll hold a free and fair election. And then he put all his opponents in jail. And the Biden administration has done nothing, hasn't it, except stand there sucking on its teeth. So, Senator, I want to say again, we provided general licenses. We did not remove the sanctions. The reason we did that was because we did not trust 
So what we can do the is the sanctions on Maduro's oil are not there, are they? General license 44, which gives permission for the sale of oil, expires on April 17th, which will then put those sanctions back in place. We did not remove the sanctions. The, 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 the problem you folks have is that you want to so quote Socrates in the middle of a bar fight. Iran is not our friend. Venezuela is not our friend. President Biden keeps giving them money to buy weapons to try to kill us. Senator, we Do you not understand that? Sanctions on the Iranian regime. We have not allowed a dollar from Qatar or from the Iraqi electricity fund to flow to Iran. We That's just not true. Senator Menendez explained that to you. The money How can you be that obtuse? Senator, as I've said, our goal is to make sure that we take every action to prevent Iran's destabilizing activity in the region. We're going to continue to go after Iran's sale of oil and try and limit their ability as best we can using the tools that you've given us. I'm here before the Senate asking for additional tools that will allow us to continue to do that. Okay, you've uh, Senator Kennedy, major point. Senator Warner from Virginia is recognized. Um, 